Question seven. So, okay, my first thought on this is let's try and work out the equation of these two things. Um, so let's start with the line, first of all, because that's probably easier to do, isn't it? So, because it's linear, and that's 2, that's 12. So 12 divided by 2. So the gradient of this must be equal to 6. It's going to be y equal, so I know it's going to be in the form mx plus c. I know the gradient is 6, and I can also tell straight away that the y-intercept is 25. Okay, so that's the nice one to do. Right, now it tells me that this is a quadratic function, and it also tells me that the minimum point is this point just here, minus 2, 13. So what we know then is that if you think about like when we would complete the square, when you complete the square, you can identify the minimum point. And you would have, oops, I was going to write A again then, is that x plus 2, it must take this form. Right, just forget about the A for a second at the beginning. And then plus 13. If you think about identifying the minimum point right, on a quadratic, thinking about when is this going to be zero here. So that makes it so minus two. We know it's there. All right. So it's going to take this form. And then it'd be multiplied by A. And that'd be something there, but it might be one, possibly. So what we can do now is obviously we need to work out what this figure is just here. Well, easiest way to do that is if we think let's just multiply this out a minute. So we've got, in fact, easier solution. We know a point, well, in fact we know two points it goes through. Let's think about that 0, 25. If I put 0 into here, the answer is equal to 25, okay, when I put 0 into there. So let's do it, because that's going to be the easiest way forward on this one. So let's put 0 in, so that becomes so 2 squared, I multiply that A, Add 13 equals 25. So a times 2 squared must be 12. So a times 2 squared must be 12. So a, a must be 3. So this quadratic has to be 3 x plus 2 squared add 13. And the linear part, the line here, is 6x plus 25. Now the question actually ask us to, to, to find this region here using inequalities. So all it wants us to do here is to write down, well, it's less than the linear part, isn't it? So it's less than the 6x and 25. And it's more than this part just here, plus 13. You can multiply out that part if you wanted to, um, but that'd be fine just like that.